Beyond Photography Show, Andrew Boy, it feels great to be back. And as promised, we have more videos to share with you. Ever since coming back, we noticed that we have got so many new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. And as promised, this is today's. What if your background is black? And during shoot, your subject wears something black, like this leather jacket here. How do you separate your background from your subject? Introducing the rim light. Action! Introducing my new model, Nadine. Did you say hi? Hi. <laughs> we have the beautiful Nadine. Now, this is the situation. As you can see, the background is black. She's got beautiful black hair. And she's wearing this beautiful jacket as well. So during photo shoot, you may risk the photo looking like this. Oops! A floating head. Now that's not good, right? We're going to introduce rim light. Now one of the biggest mistakes I always see studio photographers do is that they start by implementing their main light. Don't do this. Switch off and get rid of your main light first. You need to see the rim light. So the trick is to have your rim light first. This is her right rim light. It's called a rim light because you want to aim this light just exactly at this position. About five or six feet away from Nadim, just behind her, somewhere here. So you want to create an outline, which is a rim here. And this is how the rim lights will look like from the front. One directly behind her on the left, another directly behind her on the right hand side. Now, what is the power? The power of the rim light, there's a simple formula. If you're shooting at the power of 1 over 4 on your main light, take that 1 over 4 divided by 4, and hence you have 1 over 16. Make sure the zoom is not too wide. 28, 35 zoom is good enough. Without the main light, take a shot now. This is how your shot would look like. The reason you need to turn off your main light is that you want to be able to see how well you etch out the rim light. So this is a perfect rim light. So if it is not, you got to move your light around and turn it and move it back or forth depending on how you like them. Now that you've gotten your rim lights behind your subject, only then you come to the front and position the main light and switch it on. Because if... Eh. <laughs> because if you switch it on too early, you cannot see the effect of the rim light. What is the power here? Time for you to learn Lighter's Cheat Sheet. According to Lighter's Cheat Sheet, an umbrella cuts away two stop, regardless if it is a direct umbrella or a reverse umbrella. So if you want to shoot at a distance of 3 feet, you have to use f5.6. But I want to use f8 and I don't want to position the light too near Nadine. This is not fun, right? So you want to put it about 3 feet away from the tip of the umbrella. So all you need to do is add the power of the flash from 1 over 8 right up to 1 over 4 because the original lighter's cheat sheet is calculated based on 1 over 8. So now the power is 1 over 4, position it directly in front of her, 3 feet away. Set your camera's ISO to 200, shutter speed to 200 so that you're still in sync at F8. That's nice. Head down, rotate it just a little bit. That beautiful. And wow.
bonus tutorial we're gonna add gels colored gels to Nadine's rim light let's put red over this side and orange over that side but remember whenever you slap on gel in front of your light Nadine you lose two stops so you got to go back to the light and add back two stops so it's important when you put your gel make sure it's not stuck fast to your flesh surface it's gonna burn off your gel so leave a bit of gap and increase the power to two more stops so that's one stop so it's one over four now from one over 16 become one over four let's do the same with the other rim light now don't forget to turn off your main light and see how the rim lights look with the gel Wow! Now we turn on the main light. There's no change to the main light because you didn't add any gel there. Chin up a little bit. And that is how you add rim lights. So if you love what you learn in this YouTube channel, two things you can do. Head on to our website, beyondphotography.com.mine and sign up those e-learnings that you see there. Many, many topics. And second thing, we would like to hear what kind of topics that you want to learn about photography. Write to us. This is our email address. Or drop us a comment down at the bottom because we like to do more tutorials for you until then subscribe to our channel